the bill sailed pretty well through both uh, houses of the legislature, and I don't think there was ever uh, a question that the governor was going to sign it. I heard from my lobbyist that it was on his desk, and then heard from a couple people as he signed it, and it went over to the Secretary of State's office. Well, I actually wrote the bill that was on the books. The old law said that if you were over 200,000 barrels in sales, that you couldn't have a bar uh, as a brewery. And so now a brewery that is not a microbrewery may have one bar attached to a brewery in the state, no matter how big you are. As far as the economics go, you know, if Anheuser-Busch InBev wants to come to our state and build a big brewery and hire a bunch of people, and it takes having a bar to do that, well then fine, that's good for our economy. Originally, I owned both this bar, brew pub, and a brew pub out in Lawton, Michigan, called the Old Hat. And when I went over 30,000 barrels of sales, uh, a deal was cut amongst the legislature and the, the beer wholesalers and myself that a brewery over 30,000 could have one bar up to 200,000 barrels. The 200,000 barrel number had been on the books. It had some historical precedent, and so it was an easy one to use. And basically, I think everybody looked and said, well, if Bell ever gets to 200,000, we'll look at it again. But really, you know, the, the way that this got passed was uh, that we have uh, great local legislators that brought the bacon home for me. Uh, you know, Jace Bolger and Tiny Shootmaker and Margaret O'Brien, who uh, sponsored the bill, and Sean McCann supporting it here downtown. It doesn't hurt when you've got... Uh, the Speaker of the House and the Senate pro tem uh, on your side. You know, the alternative was for the state of Michigan to send in, in the, the troopers and close us down for being too successful. And really, I don't think that's what the state wanted. It was just a matter of, of getting it done correctly through the legislature. Did I wake up a few times at night and worry about it? Sure, because you never know what's going to happen uh, with, with politics. As it stands, I think we passed the House 107 to 1 and I think we were unanimous in the Senate, so uh, any trepidation I, I had I think was misplaced.